Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am back with another Inktober video. I was really behind on the last video I put out, so I had to like condense a ton of them, like speed them up really, really fast. That's why a lot of that editing was choppy because I hurried up and I like condensed down five videos and sped them up and then added on to the other five videos. Thing is, now I'm all caught up. Here we are with another video because here's another five drawings for Inktober. So we got Maleficent right here because, you know, the prompt was sleep. So I decided why not draw the mistress of evil who caused a sleep spell. Haha, <laughs> got it, wordplay. Anyway, so I mean, Halloween is right around the corner. By the time that I come back with another video, it'll be the 30th of October. And then there's the 31st what gets its own video. It's gonna be fun. But anyways, I thought it'd be fun to talk about our favorite Halloween costumes. And when I say our, I have Steven right here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Can I tell him a story? Yeah. Real fast? Yeah. We VO'd this entire video without doing anything on Halloween costumes, and then we're going back to redo it because, true story, I actually got distracted by how good your art was. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's I fine. did. I sat here and asked her like five different questions that I probably should be asking her in private about her art techniques because I got distracted, so we should talk about Halloween costumes. Okay. <laughs> it's just so good. I don't understand how you do your art sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna start doing it all over again. I have to do it for a third time if I don't shut up. Okay. Do you want to talk about your favorite Halloween costume you ever had? I do. Which one? I have a Segway. A Segway? Yeah, one of my favorite Halloween costumes ever was when I dressed up as Boris Karloff's Frankenstein from the 1939-31 movie. Yeah. The one we went to go see in the drive-in. Yeah, that was fun. And I wore a suit coat that was way too small, which looked the part, and the suit coat was checkered black and gray, and it looks like you're cross-hatching. Really? Okay. See, wasn't that a good segue? Yeah, it was a good segue. So that was your favorite Halloween costume? Mm, it was tied. I have top. I have t three, three favorites. Is that too many? No. Do you want me to boil that down to one? Probably just pick one. Can Probably you, the Jack Sparrow outfit. You do outfit. talk a lot. I, shut up. Okay. <laughs> the Jack Sparrow costume was so good it got me asked back for vacation bible school for the next two years that i remember you telling me about that what i never i never got to see you as jack sparrow I'm a, I'm a little sad because that means i miss the guy liner on you i'll dig out up. some photos yeah because yeah. that's kind of sexy for me <laughs> <laughs> so i guess i get to talk about my favorite halloween costume now i did ask you did ask i did hear that yeah but i wanted to talk about how i've never seen any pictures of you being jack sparrow well, tell me about your favorite Halloween costume. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you know. And how old you were. How old I was. I feel like that's very relevant to the costume. Well, I think I stopped. Did you go trick-or-treating as a kid? Oh, yeah. Yeah? When I did didn't you stop? stop? I stopped when I was like 17, and I kind of freeloaded with my siblings till I was like 18 or 19 because See, I like free candy. Yeah, I think I stopped trick-or-treat. I actually stopped when I was 15 years old because... That's when I switched from, I went from a public school to a private Christian school and their church that was part of the school actually, um, they actually, they did trunk or treat and that was the first time I was ever introduced to trunk or treat. And What's trunk or treat? Trunk or treat, you know, you go from trunk to trunk of a car and you trick or treat at the cars. It must be a North Carolina thing. No, it's not because it's all <laughs> over in Indiana. I see signs everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. It must be more prevalent in North Carolina. No, I've see, I see signs I've, everywhere. I've never see seen Trunk or Treat. I've right never now. seen it. Okay. Can you, can you do it as an adult? Can no. we go Trunk or Treating? No. If we ever want to go Trick or Treating again, I guess we gotta have kids. Poop. Yep. It'll be a while. Let's just go buy the candy. Let's go buy candy and, and Trick or Treat in our house. <laughs> that works. I think my favorite Halloween costume was... Because, you know, as I got older, I, 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 I still dressed up and I went to all like my church festivals and stuff once I stopped trick-or-treating. But 
I think my favorite was when I put together a, um, a costume with Jazzy. I was Blue's Clues, but instead of being Steve, I was Stevie. So I did like a gender bend of Blue's Clues and I went and I actually found online blue hair dog dye. And, um, that Jazzy, dog. Jazzy was all white. So it went, um, You're lucky that perfect. dog didn't bite your head off. She all loves you put her me. Through. She loves me. I think I did a, a joint costume with her for a couple years in a row, oh but that dog, that was great. So I went to like Goodwill and I found like a tan skirt and the perfect green striped shirt. And I did, I did all my hair up to like all curly and I carried around a notebook and then I dyed Jazz's hair and she was my little blue. That's the difference between you and me. When you do a costume, you see possibilities. Yes. When I do a costume, it has to be 100% accurate. In fact, do you well, remember? Well, that's what I did with Anna from Frozen. Okay, fair. Yeah, yeah. so. But I have and, a story. I want to tell Merida. a story. And Merida. And Merida. Do you remember how the libraries used to have reading um, competitions? Yeah. I got, I did a reading competition specifically to get rings that matched the color of Jack Sparrow's. That is, yeah. That's how hardcore I am. Well, I mean, when I started, okay. I'm accurate. I'm accurate too. You've never seen me cosplay. No, I know. Yeah. But the cosplaying is not trick or treating. No, it, it but I, yeah, instead, yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> but I think that that sums up. Honestly, we just, we, you and I really need to cosplay. We did, kind of. When? Uh, oh, Dapper, uh, Dapper Day. Day was more of a Disney you bound because he... dressed me up as a fox. Yeah, he was Nick Wilde and I was Judy for Dapper Day. And that was like one of our first Disney dates. I've never been subjected to so many photographs in my life. You loved it. Did not. Yes, you did. But we, we really need to actually dress up like... Will you draw the Headless up. Horseman for Halloween? Maybe. Okay. This is the end of the video. I dressed up as the Headless Horseman once, cause, so that's relevant. That is commitment. He has to work on Halloween, so we don't get to do anything fun. You know you're going to dress up for that. Anyway. I was thinking about doing my face, like doing an extreme makeup job, but yeah. Oh, no, we're coming to the end of the video. You got to do your thing really quick. Oh. Yeah, do it. Never. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Bye. Ready? Oh. On three, two, one. One, two, three. Do Bye. Do Bye. Do Bye. Do Bye. Do Bye. What? <laughs>